It seems like whenever you go to YouTube and you look at some of the YouTube channels that you might like to watch from time to time, you see these thumbnails that seem to show these demonic images, these pagan symbols. I want to address two big problems with that as I see it. The first problem has to do with these symbols being portrayed in the first place. I understand that you want people to click on the video so you want to have a nice thumbnail that maybe draw them in so that you can give them the truth. The problem is sometimes these thumbnails aren't always being forthright, aren't as honest as they should be. No doubt you've seen before where there might be the circle and then what's in the circle might be blurred out and then enlarged and you'll see an image of something. The problem is a lot of times when you go back and look at it, one, the video might not even be covering that as believers especially those that might be putting out videos on YouTube, we still have a duty to put off falsehoods, to be forthright, to be as honest as we possibly can. 2 Corinthians 8.21 says, For we have regard for what is honorable, not only in the sight of the Lord, but also in the sight of men. So if we put something before the people to watch and we give the impression that this person is worshiping this symbol or that symbol is on their lapel or it's on their book, it's on their bracelets, on their necklace, and it's not, then let's be honest, guys. We're not being forthright. We're not being honest. And I understand we want to have an engaging, an interesting looking thumbnail and the title to draw people in. If what we're offering is the truth, let that be enough. There will not be enough people, at least as far as we think, there will never be enough people who watch the video, the number that we think ought to be there. We think, and we're probably right, that there needs to be millions of people watching these videos. The truth is the truth and more people need to hear it. But we don't have to be like the world to draw people in. So maybe you can't find an interesting enough title or a thumbnail. But the fact is, we just need to be better. I'm going, I'm looking at even at my own thumbnails, just making sure that we're not being deceptive, even if it's unintentional. I get it. Most of us who might do that aren't intending to give a false picture of what's in the video. But let's just be honest. Let's let's make sure that the name of Christ isn't sullied because we have not thought this through. But now, even more importantly than the thumbnails, the fact is there are people that actually have these symbols out there. There are people that actually do have these uh, images either on a necklace or uh, in a ring or somewhere around them. What do we do about that? And this is even the more important question. Should we care? Should we care that people have these images of, let's say, this Baphomet or any other pagan symbol? What's more pagan? What's more demonic? The symbol or, let's say, someone aborting their child? What's more satanic? The symbols or someone hurting someone else? What's more satanic? The symbol or someone not hearing the gospel? What's more satanic, the symbol or someone refusing to place their faith in Christ? The more important thing that we have to do, and grant, I understand that these things are out there and we should be warned, but really those aren't the dangers. As a matter of fact, when we look in the scriptures, we don't see an awful lot of times where the men of God are coming against these pagan symbols. We really don't see that. We see in the Old Testament the prophets going against, let's say, the prophets of Baal, but this was really to kind of make sure that people know who the true and living God is. As a matter of fact, Paul has an account where he goes to the Areopagus and he has a conversation relating to the unknown God. In Acts 17, 22, Paul stood in the midst of the Areopagus and said to the men of Athens, I observe that you are very religious in all respects, which is what we have today. We've got people that are looking for something, what they call spiritual, but it really is nothing um, that is leading anywhere. Obviously, it will lead them to hell. And so what does Paul do in a, in a situation just like this? He addresses them, not in regards to the symbol, but in regards to who they ought to be looking for. He says, for while I was passing through and examining the objects of your worship, I also found an altar with this inscription to an unknown God. Therefore, what you worship in ignorance, this, is pro this I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and all the things in it, since he is Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in temples made with hands, nor is he served by human hands as though he need anything, since he himself gives to all people life and breath and all things. What we do sometimes, and I think we probably ought not do as often as we do, is focus on these symbols, focus on these satanic occult looking things, and really focus on what they're looking for, what they actually need. To the guy that you're missing, the one that you don't know, let me tell you about him, the one who's given life to all of us. 
and the one who bids us to come to him, the one who has died for our sin, you don't have to do anything. What if we, instead of focus on how bad the world is, and don't get me wrong, I think we should let folks know how bad things are. I think we should let people know what is demonic and what's satanic, what's not. But then that needs to be where we pivot and give attention to the known God, where we give attention to who has saved us, who has redeemed us, and how easy it is to be redeemed. Just simply place your faith in Christ. If you believe in him on what he's done, the Bible says you shall be saved. And then the hole that they have in their heart, the desire to look for things that are not godly, that will go away because now they've got the true living God in them. And so what I think we ought to do, guys, this is just my humble opinion, is that maybe we ought not focus so much on Satan and what he's doing, because again, greater is he that's in us and he that's in the world. Remember, he's not in us, he's in the world. And if we if we desire to move people to the new relationship like we have, then focusing on uh, Satan won't be an issue. That will be more of a thing of the past. And let me say this, there was no disrespect intended if I spoke about something and maybe your particular channel does some of the things that I think we ought not to do. Most of these channels, if not all the ones that I'm speaking about, I didn't name any names because I don't want to because I happen to subscribe to a lot of these channels as well. But after talking with some other people, it's like, yeah, we might be getting a bit out of hand. It's over selling something that's not actually there. But what if we, when we brought people in, all the eyes that are coming in, what we did, we what we did was we made it our first desire to share the gospel, to teach them the truth, not so much to focus on the negative, which we ought to from time to time, but we also, while doing so, turn their attention away from the bad and focus it on the good. Use it as a teaching moment. I think we could all learn from that. I think we could all grow from that. And so if I've given any offense to anyone who is creating content and ha who may have done these things, I think we probably ought not do. No hard feelings. I'm not. I promise you, I'm not coming at you. Um, if, I've, if I've offended you, forgive me, but understand the heart behind what I'm doing. If I do the same thing, let me know. I want to make sure that, I, that I'm as, as honest as possible. Um, I want folks to know that. Uh, and I understand this whole clickbait era that we're in. And if something is too clickbaity, call me to the carpet. I have no problem with that. But I want to present the gospel and teach sound doctrine to people and also to call call out where things are bad, where things are dangerous. And I can promise you this, that sign, that image, that symbol, that statue, that's not the problem. The problem is people simply not knowing and placing their faith in Christ. Amen.